Hello everyone and welcome to today's upper body and cardio complex. We are going to be using a timer today, but there is no rest during this timer. So what you may want to do is go through a full round, then take some rest, then go through another full round. We are going to be doing 35 seconds of work back to back. So we are going to be pairing a strength move with a cardio move. So that strength move is all going to be upper body related. You will need a set of dumbbells or two sets of dumbbells, whatever you have, your yoga mat and your water. And so we're going to start off with a strength move for 35 seconds. Then we're going to go right into a cardio move. So whether that cardio is pop squats, jumping jacks, you want to sprint, high knees, burpees, uh, skaters, mountain climbers, anything that gets your heart rate up. Because the intervals are at 35 and 35, those extra five seconds in those intervals will help give us a little bit of transition time. So we're likely looking at about 30 seconds of work with that little bit of a buffer of five seconds just, just to transition to pick up those weights. We have five different exercises. I'll go over them first because once we get started, we won't be having any rest. First exercise is a bent over row. Grabbing those dumbbells, soft knees, hinging at that hip, extending those arms, but keeping those shoulders engaged and rowing up. You can always modify to do one row at a time. You could even just pick up one dumbbell and row one dumbbell at a time. If you're going to be doing even numbered rounds, you could even do a staggered bent over row or knee up on your bench or chair. Second exercise will be our chest press, coming down to the floor, or if you have a bench, taking those weights, starting off with those weights at chest, uh, above chest height, bringing them down, pushing those back up. You can always modify to one weight at a time. And again, you can certainly do this on your bench if you have one of those available as well. Third exercise will be a squat push press. Holding onto those dumbbells, front to rack those on your shoulder, on the meaty part of that shoulder, we're going to squat down and push those weights up. You can modify again and just push one weight at a time. Of course, in between each of these upper body exercises, that's when you're going to go straight into your cardio. Next strength training move will be a bicep curl and a hammer curl. Soft knees, slight hinge at that hip, bicep curl, change to that hammer curl. You can modify one at a time as well. And then depending on how many you get through in that 35 seconds, if you are doing one weight at a time, just make sure you start off on whatever side you didn't get as many. Of course, then you would do your cardio. And then our last exercise will be a tricep extension. So grabbing one of those heavier weights, lifting up above the head, elbows are close to those ears, and we are just bending at that elbow. And then of course, ending with that cardio. So if you have an interval timer, you're gonna set both timers to 35 seconds. A full round of all of this is 10. So then you'd set to 10 rounds, press go, and then you just go. There is not going to be any rest time. At the end of that, you take that rest and do another set. So if you just want to follow along with me, you can just pre pa press pause, rewind to when we start the workout, and we can go through another one together. Grab your water, make sure you have your weights handy because we'll be getting right into the bent over rows. squats. Burpees are always a great choice as well. You're only doing 35 seconds of them. But pick whatever you want or switch it up. You can do multiple cardio moves throughout this as well. Alright, bent over row. Right into it now. Keeping that head in a neutral position. You're not looking down at your toes. You're not looking upward. Use those abs. 
They help you when you lift. They protect that lower back. In five. And right into whatever cardio move you're doing. I'm doing pop squats.
one round. You could certainly have planned rest in that complex for your water to catch your breath, to transition between the exercises. You wouldn't then have to stop, take maybe too much rest and get started again. Lots of options. You can of course do more rounds, less rounds. That's a great thing again. The workout's put together. You decide how long you wanna work for. So, leave me a comment or down there. Give me a like, let me know what you thought if you did this workout, how you modified it for you. And don't forget to stretch, drink that water, and we'll see you again soon.